guys, thank you for coming to my video. Okay, let me introduce myself and my partner. I am Glandy, and my partner is Sudo. Hello guys. In this video I would like to present about arrangements. Okay, let's go. Glandy, can I ask you? Yes, what do you want to ask? I joined a discrete math class yesterday and the teacher teach us about arrangements but I still don't understand about arrangements. Do you understand about arrangement? Yes. Can you explain to me? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Combinatorics is often concerned with how things are arranged. In this context, an arrangement is a way objects could be grouped. What is the most basic rules regarding arrangements? The most basic rules regarding arrangements are the rule of product and the rule of sum. These rules govern how to count arrangements using the operations of multiplication and addition, respectively. What is the rule of product? The rule of product governs how to count arrangements using multiplication. If there are n ways to arrange something, and then n ways to arrange something else after that, then the number of ways to arrange both of those things is m times n. Okay, thank you Glandy. Then, what is the rule of sum? The rule of sum governs how to count arrangements using addition. The language for these rules may seem similar. The main difference is that arrangements counted with the rule of product happen consecutively or simultaneously, while arrangements counted with the rule of sum cannot happen consecutively or simultaneously. If there are n ways to arrange something, and there are n ways to arrange something else, and these arrangements cannot both happen, then the number of ways to arrange either of those things is m plus n. Thank you Glandy, I understand now. Next, there is a potential pitfall in counting problems. Yes, one potential pitfall in counting problems is the concept of double counting. Double counting is an error in which the same object or arrangement is counted more than once. For example, how many integers between 1 and 100 are divisible by 7 or 13? The number of integers between 1 and 100 that are divisible by 7 is 100 divided by 7 equals 14. The number of integers between 1 and 100 that are divisible by 13 is 100 divided by 13 equals 7. It might seem like the rule of sum would be applicable here, and that the answer would be 7 plus 14 equals 21. However, this would be an error in double counting. One must consider that it's possible for an integer to be divisible both by 7 and 13. The number of integers between 1 and 100 that are divisible by 7 and 13 is 100 divided by 7 times 13 equals 1. To account for the double counting, this amount is subtracted from the original answer of 21. Thus, there are 20 integers between 1 and 100 that are divisible by 7 or 13. Thank you for explaining it to me. I understand and I can calm down now. God bless you Blandy. Can I ask you again when I don't understand the lesson in the class? Yes, why not? That is it guys for my explanation about arrangements. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the link button so you will not miss any notification when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I should fuck her with